Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Free Magic Live with me, JJ. In today's How To Magic Monday video, I'm gonna be using a phone and a pack of cards. That's right, check this out. Hey, what's up? So we're here, it's Sunday night, behind the scenes, well not really behind the scenes, we're here shooting at Sean's house. What's up, Sean? Hello. And I'm here with my man, Michael, what's up? What's up? What's up? You're probably wondering why we're in some interesting matching t-shirts. No, we just didn't come from a music concert or festival, or boy band, actually. We're actually wearing these shirts, because these are called O shirts, and it's with a specific charity, and I'm gonna be telling you that a little bit later in the video. But of course, because it's Magic Mondays, I wanna teach you something with a phone and a pack of cards. So, Mike, I don't wanna use my phone because it could be set up. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. Okay, I want you to do me a favor. Open up your the phone on the iPhone 5. Open up the notes section, and I'm gonna write in a note, and go to a new note. Okay, cool. Yep, let me write it in. All right, I'm gonna get you to move it. You're gonna hold these, okay. And I'm gonna write in a note right on, actually do me a favor, before I do it, just take open the cards, shuffle the cards, give them a mix. Okay, happy? Awesome, make sure there are no markings on the cards or anything like that. We're all good? Okay, hold it just like that, don't move. I'm gonna make a prediction on your phone. Now it's right here, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna slip, switch it right off like that. You're gonna hold it. Okay. Actually, put it in your pocket for a sec. Put it in the pocket. Okay, it's done. Here's what's gonna happen, right here. I want you to do me a favor, I want you to cut off a section of cards in my hand. Awesome. Pick up one of the decks, this one or this one? This one, pick it up. Okay, do me a favor, awesome, get rid of those. This time, pass me these. Cut off another section. Was that fair? That's pretty okay. fair. Okay, this time, you're going to keep one. Which one do you want to keep? Do you want to keep those? Okay, cool. Pass me these, that's okay, all right. This time we're down to a few cards, okay. Last time I want you to cut a section of cards into my hand. Are you happy with that? This time, just take one of the decks. Are you happy with that? Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one, okay. Put these, put them in your pocket. That's cool, all right. So we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cards. Last time, cut off another section. We're just, okay, which, which pole do you want me to keep? This one, this one, this one, okay, cool. All right, watch. We're just getting rid of, rid of some of the cards. This time we're gonna shuffle the cards, like this, okay? They're all different. Take four cards. Great. Put them in your pocket. We are down to four cards in this deck. This time, which two do I get to, t to keep? Just touch them. Two middle. Two middle? Okay. We're down to two cards, or 52 cards left. Yep. Left one, right one. One, two. Take one of these cards. You happy with that? I'm happy with that. Place it in your pocket. Take out your phone. Keep it like right there. There's one card left in this deck. Yeah. One card that you could have, really you cut anywhere you want. You took some of the decks, you put yep. them in your pocket. I put mine in, we're left with one card. Let's see what the card is. Nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. There's no way I made you cut. No. You cut wherever, wherever you want. Possible. Open your phone, put in your pin. Now everyone knows your pin. Look at that. Nine of clubs. Check that out. Nice. Like Isn't it? Boom. Hey guys, just before we get to the explanation of which you'll love to figure out, it's such a cool trick that I'm about to teach you. I want to tell you a little bit about these shirts that Michael and I are wearing. Now, if you're not sure, you might go, I've seen this guy before. You've actually been on our channel before. I have. He was wearing the hat. You were going more gangster styles. Now you, you've tied it up. I'm an angel now. <laughs> we're actually, um, anyway, so we're actually, um, a friend of mine has, is, is joining with a new company and these shirts are called O Shirts. Oshirts.com, or the link will be below or will be on this video. Basically what the idea behind it is, is that they are selling shirts to support a specific charity. So every two weeks, currently at the moment, they are making a new shirt and proceeds of that shirt, $7 of that shirt actually, is going to a certain charity to help with uh, their charity. I thought it was a great idea. I'm not getting paid 
paid for this. I'm not um, getting sponsored to this. I thought I'd help out because I think it's a really, really great idea. And you know, everyone loves a good shirt. So once again, if it's something you might be interested in, of course, why don't you just check it out? Just check out oshirts.com. These are these are really cool shirts. They're very light. They're very fresh. I'm actually wearing the female version one, and Michael's wearing the male version one, just so we're clear on that. But if you want to accentuate the triceps or uh, accentuate the goods, or if you just want to um, have a cool shirt to, to go out with, these shirts are really cool, and the design does change, and I believe every two weeks. So I'm all for supporting charity, so make sure you check out oshirts.com. Check out the link somewhere on this video, and uh, look, it's all about helping helping other people out that are in need, and, uh, and it's always for a good cause. So if I can try um, help uh, help these guys out as much as I can, I will. So these are oshirts.com. Check out the explanation. Welcome back to the explanation. Michael, do you like that one? I loved it. You're gonna use it? Of course. You loved it. I loved it. I'm use you it. drop out the L word pretty easy around here, don't you? I fall in that love pretty quick. <laughs> okay. All right, here's what's gonna happen. So what you do, what I love about this guy so much is that, you know, once it's just a card force, but I like the element of bringing your phone into it as it changes the trick up. It just gives a little bit of, of, it just gives it a different feel to it, rather than just forcing card and reading their mind. So what you do, which I like, everyone has a smartphone these days. I ask the person to go uh, open their phone and I ask them to open up the notes section of their phone. And what I like about this, this is what I do. I get them to shuffle the cards and as they're shuffling, I'm gonna write a note on my phone. But this is what you're gonna do, okay? As they're shuffling, you need to spot the bottom card, okay? Or even the top one, but you need to spot I typically spot the bottom card, so right here is the seven of spades. Now how I do that in a very normal way, so let's do that from the beginning. So you give me your phone, okay? Do me a favor, Michael, shuffle the cards. I'm gonna write a note right here. Shuffle them, awesome, are you happy? Just make sure there are no markings on the cards or anything like that, are there? No, cool. And all it is is spot the card, it's the five of hearts. And all the bottom card is the five of hearts here. And what you're doing is you're writing that card on your phone or on their phone. I like it because it's their phone. And sometimes it's stupid because, but people think, oh, you must have had a, a trick app or a trick note section. If you can use their stuff, I believe sometimes it's the magic can be a lot stronger, and especially because it's in their hands too. Because they're going to think, oh, he must have had some, as I said, some trick phone or trick app. So once again, you spot the card, okay, the five hearts. They're, um, they've got the cards, and you say, just wait right there, okay? So you're putting in the note section. I normally give it, give the phone to them or I just switch it off and ask them to hold it or put it in their pocket. Typically when you're standing up, you'd probably want to get them to put the phone in their pocket because you need to do a lot of cutting right now. So chuck the phone in your pocket. Great. Hey, nice shirt by the way. Hello. What kind of shirt is it? Oh shirt. Oh shirts. All right, check it out. All right. So what's going to happen is this. You're going to get them to cut the cards a certain amount in your hand. So cut the cards wherever you want. So basically what you're doing is a magician's force. So you're making them, uh, you're basically keeping this card in play the whole time. So you've cut a certain amount of cards in my hand. Yep. I'm gonna ask you to basically pick off a certain deck, this side, this packet will basically. So whatever one they choose, just get keep the five of hearts in play. So pick up any one you want. If they pick up this one, you go cool, I'll put this one in my pocket. If they go this one, you go cool, I'll put this one in my pocket. Okay, you want to keep this in play. So they choose this one? Cool, all right. Now once again, you're not giving context of you're gonna put every pile in the pocket, you just go, I'm gonna put this in the pocket, okay. This time you go, okay, great. This time I want you to cut the cards again into my hand. And what you say is, I want to make sure that you're happy with the cut. I didn't make you cut wherever, you know, I didn't make you cut anywhere, cool. All right, this time I pick up a deck, pick up a deck in your own hands. Okay, so let's say you pick up that deck. Perfect, you go, great, hold on to those. And these just go in the pocket again, okay? Now if they go, uh, pick up this one. Cool, all right, put them in your pocket, okay? Cool. All right. I know a lot of people out there might be going, oh JJ, that doesn't, it's a little bit confusing, it doesn't make 100% sense. You know what, it's, you didn't feel forced when I was no, doing it to you. It, it felt natural, it felt normal, right? It would make it would make a difference if I said every pile you touch is going into my pocket though. So because if you know if they press touch this one and you put that one away, that doesn't make sense. Okay? So um, you're down to like a few cards, so you know the card is still there. You know, this time I want you to cut the cards in my hand one more time. Okay. Which deck would you like me to keep? This one or this one? They say this one, this one. and all you're doing, you can put it in your pocket. 
If they go this one, you go, cool, I'm going to keep this one. See, they don't really know that the ones you're going to keep, you're going to put in your pocket, you know, you're going to hold in your hand. It doesn't, you haven't made that clear. So they go, this one, you go, cool, put in my pocket. Okay, so now we're down to a few cards. When you've got about under 10 cards left, this is the fun part. You know the card is this card right here. And you say, we've got a few cards left. This, what I want you to do, you can even count. I've got three, six, eight cards. I want you to touch four cards, okay? So let's say they touch one, two, three, four. If they touch the card with the selected card you want them to, to take, keep them in play. If they don't, uh, keep the, yeah, so the ones they touch, keep them in play. If they don't, get rid of them, if that makes sense. So let's say he goes one, two, three, and four. He keeps the, the five of hearts in play. You go, cool, keep those, get rid of the rest. Then when you go, cool, we're down to four cards. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take two and get take them and put them on your chest. Okay, great, put them in your pocket now. Or just put, hold on to them, doesn't really matter. You go, you're down to two cards, you know it's this card. This is what's great, it's just anything they say, you're gonna keep this in play. You're gonna go, I want you to do me a favor, I want you to take one. Now, it's always nicer if they can take the card that, they, that, that you want to force them. And how I do that is this. I don't think you do it, I don't think you did it with uh, when we did the performance, but if you go, I want you to do me a favor, I want you to take one. And typically, typically, they should take that one, okay? I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but more so if you control your spectrum and say, I want you to do if I want you to take one, and it's just there, they'll just grab it, okay? If not, even if they take this one, you go, great, put that away. So we're left with one card, yeah. okay? Pass me that card again. I want you to do me, I want you to take one. Okay, great. Yeah. You took that card out of 52. And see, it's a little bit more natural, it's a bit flows a lot better, but it still works when they take this one. So you left me with one card now in this deck. Put that one away. Bring out your phone. This is the best part. This is the build up here, guys. It's very, very important with magic. This is the magic moment, okay? All the other stuff was just, was really nothing. This is the magic moment. It was something, of course, but this is the magic moment. You go, look, you left the five of hearts. That's very interesting. I didn't make you cut the cards at a certain point. You chose the, the packets you want. Once again, I'm telling them what I want them to remember because back, they're gonna go back in their mind and go, maybe he made me say, okay. So you want to basically tell them what your, they, you want to basically tell them that they have, they've had a free choice. So I said, uh, you cut wherever you want. Yep. You, I didn't make you mm. cut anywhere, and you left with, we were left with one, one card. card. Completely fair. It's interesting. Yeah, completely fair, right? Yeah. Five of hearts. Turn on your phone, and they put in their, they put in their pin, and then open it up, and it's on their phone. And the five of hearts, just like this. Very strong. I think why it's so strong is because it's got to do with the, the element of the phone and you made a prediction beforehand and because it's a phone and everyone has a phone and it's their phone, it just it just makes the trick work so well. So this is the phone and phone and card magic trick. I love it. It's really really I do it a lot, especially if I want to just relax a little bit. You know, I wouldn't do this as maybe an opener, but after like, let's say you've done a few tricks for someone, they go, show me something else, but you want to sort of, don't want to touch the cards too much. It puts it all on them. They cut the cards. They're telling you the piles they want to choose. It's on their phone. It's all about them. And I think that's the most important thing with magic sometimes, um, especially your, you know, your audience. Make it all about them. It's not about you. It's all about them. So that's it. You're going to learn it. I learned it just then. You learned it just then. Like Once it. again, guys, that's it. Make sure you check us out at our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash free magic live. Also, make sure you use YouTube subscribe so you subscribe to our videos. And also, you check out uh, these cool shirts, oshirts.com. You can have the lady shirt like this or the manly version just over there. See you in the next video, guys.